All right, welcome back, everybody. Today I'm going to run over a tutorial on making custom textures for your scenic items and items in game. It's the same method you would use to make your own texture pack, but I'm not going to go that in depth. I'm just going to show you the basics of making your own um, textures for your items. So we're going to go ahead and add a schematic. We're going to use my rock formation that I made in my last video. Um, let's go ahead and move it over. And then we are going to also add another object. We're going to add a diamond sword and we're actually going to change the look of that diamond sword. So let's move it over. Mm, position, jump the camera. Okay, so we've got those two items here. They're the default Minecraft textures and I'll show you how to change those. Now you'll notice when you've got your object selected this image pops up below. These are the default Minecraft images. This is the default palette of Minecraft. Um, so to edit these textures and how they're going to appear we actually have to edit this. And um, it's the same for your items. It's got its own little palette thing that we're going to edit. So to get this image you're going to want to export find a place you want to save it. It's a PNG file. Um, I've already exported it, but I will redo it. And the same for your items we're going to export. And save. Alright, now that we have those, let's minimize this. I'm actually going to be using paint.net. Um, you can use any editing software you want. The only thing you're going to need that software to do is that is a must is it has to have transparent background options. And what I mean by that, let me open this up. Let's open up the block one first. It's pretty small. It's 256 by 256. So if this opens up larger and it's sitting with space on either side, you're going to want to go to image. Um, canvas size and change that to 256 by 256 pixels. Alright, so what I mean by transparent background is these gray and white spots here. That means, for example, on your, where is it, glass graphic up here, let's zoom in on it. Your glass graphic right here, if there's not actual color or anything there, it, it shows it as see-through. Same with your grades or um, your your wheat even. It's not going to show anything here because there's not a color. Now if I was to go here, put the paintbrush and scribble something in, it would show the normal wheat, but then it'd show something floating above it. So you're going to want to make sure, if you're wanting the see-through effect, you make sure everything is erased behind the, um, or in between your colors, like the ladder or the trapdoor or whatever. Now here are all the basic Minecraft textures. You've got your wools, your sandstone, your lamps on and off, um, your pumpkins on and off, your cake, the sides, the middle, the top, um, your, uh, what's it called, end portal thing, mushrooms. Um, there's just a couple things you should not touch. One is this block in the top left. I've read in videos and seen that you do not touch this one. Don't touch it. Don't touch this blue one. This is not the water. I, I'm not quite sure what this one is, but this blue one here and these two fire text things here do not touch. If you want to edit the water and the uh, lava, those are down here. And as far as editing the way the fire looks, I do not know. You're going to have to look at a more advanced video. Um, Anyway, let's get to our animating, or our coloring. So I'm actually going to edit the cobble right here. Zoom in so you can actually see the individual blocks. These are individual pixels. You're going to want to use your paintbrush or any other painting tool of your choice. Make sure that the width, it can be more than one pixel. You can see up here the units is pixels. Um, but I'm wanting to change individual little squares. Now if I went bigger it would change a lot at once, which is maybe the de desired effect that you want, but that's not what I'm going for here. So let's actually change that to yellow. And let's change cobble. Now you notice one click doesn't get the desired effect. 
If you click again, it gets a little brighter. It just, you actually won't gonna wanna click it or hold it on there and move it around a couple times to actually get the solid color. And you'll notice I'm getting some bleeding going on here. That means if I get too close to this edge, it actually starts to paint the one next to it. So you're going to want to be very cautious there or find some way to take that off. I do not know how to do that, so if you do, please leave it in the comments below so that everybody can learn. Alright, so let's start out. Let's just paint this yellow. Blah, 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 blah. It looks like somebody threw a water balloon full of yellow paint at your cobblestone. And then we're also going to go to the eraser tool, make sure it's the same one pixel size. And let's erase a couple blocks right in the middle. Now you notice you can see the white and gray little pixels in the back. That means since there is no color there, it's actually going to be see-through. And you're going to want to make sure, I'll show you down here, you can actually make these things semi-transparent. So there's actually still a little bit of gray there. It's hard to see, but I'm going to have to click it a couple more times before it's actually gone. So there's your cobble. Let's also change our water, because that's what is around. Our, uh, ooh, easy. All right, and the water. Let's change the water so that it's green. Oh, that's the erase tool. That's all right. Just fill that in. Blah, 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 blah. There is toxic waste in the water. Do not drink it. All right. So we've changed our two things. We're going to save it. Okay. And now let us open our item texture. Same thing, let's zoom in a lot so we can see the pixels. Use the hand tool to move around and let's edit our diamond sword here. Now you do have a little leeway on actual design of the sword, so I'm actually going to delete those away. And I'm going to paint, let's go with red. Now you can't make this thing like all the way out to here. I, I don't know the actual size of your thing here, of what it's actually going to read, but I do know there's a little leeway in editing it. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to bring this one back this way. You see it bled over to there. <clears throat> and there we go. Um, now let's also make the middle completely see-through. Same with the eraser tool, you've got to click it or hold it on the block multiple times to get it to erase all the way. Alright, so we've got one thing going here, one thing going up. Let's save this. And we're good to go. Close this. Let's open Minimator back up. Now you notice these didn't change, and that's because we have not updated the texture it's pulling from. If so, if you just want to update it, when the object is already in play or creating a new object, you click on this drop down box here under texture, you go into browse, find the one you just changed, and voila, there we go. Now you'll notice I didn't color it in all the way right here. So it's actually a little bit see-through, and if that's the desired effect you're going for, then cool. Um, you can see the middle of the sword is, in fact, see-through, and we've got our things coming up and down. So that's, I don't know, I think that's a cool thing if you want to make, like, different colored swords or different side swords. I mean, you could make little daggers, you could add, like, a arm guard here, you know, whatever you want to do, you can... Uh, do to your textures. And essentially this is how you make your custom texture packs. I could actually upload this um, texture thing I just changed into Minecraft and this is how the things will look in Minecraft. And if anybody's interested in that let me know and I'll make a video on that. And now let us update this. Same thing here. Drop down box. Browse. Find the one you edited. And there you go. <laughs> We've got our toxic waste water and uh, we've got our cobblestone with 
somebody threw a, a dirty yellow paint balloon on it and it's also got a hole in the middle. So when you're editing that one side, it wraps it to make the four, well not four sides, but all the sides of the cube. So it is going to repeat, so if you pick kind of a stupid one like mine, it's going to look quite silly. Um, so you want to make sure it's a solid texture and it's good looking because it's going to be shown a lot. So this is my tutorial on custom textures for Minimator and essentially for Minecraft. Thanks for tuning in guys. Um, any questions, leave in the comments below and as always, rate, subscribe. And um, I will be getting back to some animating videos. I've been kind of doing the tricks and little things here and there. Um, but I will be getting back to animating soon, so stay tuned for that. And uh, I've got a couple more ideas up my sleeve. And check out any of my other series you're interested in. Um, I'm doing some texture packs and mod um, reviews. I'm also going to be coming out with some shorts, like the animations I've already done. And uh, we'll see what's next on the uh, the agenda. Thanks for tuning in.